but I believe the legacy and the ancestry of black Americans is being insulted every single day. I will not pretend to be a victim in this country. I know that that makes many people on the left uncomfortable. Yes. And Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee were extremely uncomfortable as Candace Owens just slashed at the narratives of the people like Nadler and Ted Lieu. In fact, when C-SPAN tweeted out the video of the confrontation with Lieu, it racked up 4.47 million views in less than 24 hours. It's a Twitter record for that network. Joining me now in her first interview since the explosive hearing is Candace Owens herself. She's the comms director for Turning Point USA and Leo Terrell, civil rights attorney. We have both sides uh, uh, represented here tonight. Candace, why do you think that your moment, and I watched it from beginning to end, has drawn such attention and what has been the reaction to you personally since? Well, I think it drew attention for a lot of reasons. I think in many ways people on the right felt vindicated. And I know that there were a lot of moderate people that came over and realized that what I was talking about were actually real issues in black America. I touched upon the illiteracy rates. Seventy-five percent of black boys in California not being able to read is a problem in black America. White nationalism, when black-on-black -black crime, 90.1 percent of all homicides against black Americans are performed by other black Americans. The entire hearing, in my opinion, was a hoax. The continued hoax on black America, which comes to us from Democrats, who want us ultimately to fail by focusing on something that is not harming us when you look at all of the other issues that we are facing. Uh, now, Leo, you watched, I'm sure, at least part of what Candace yes. said yesterday, your reaction. Well, I just see right now Candace Owens is getting 15 minutes of fame and just give me 30 seconds to prove my point. She just, again, assumed that all Democrats are hoping that black people fail. On her, on her interview with C-SPAN, she says that the word nationalism has been compromised or poisoned by elitists. Tell that to the people in Charlottesville. She then tried to put herself in the same category of Donald Trump uh, talking about the false narrative. But the part that was so insulting, when she's promoting her employer and said that she went to Jerusalem and not a single Democrat went there, Ms. Owens, let me tell you, 72 percent of Jewish Americans voted for Democrats. So you did a great job of promoting yourself and playing the victim. And by the way, it's not just black people who are not stupid by what you said. Americans were not stupid, because I listened to everything you just said. And okay. I hope you can challenge what I said about the number of blacks, number of Jews who support Poor Democrats, but you did a good job of marketing yourself today, putting right. yourself in the same boat as the president. Good job, okay. Candace. All right. Um, so okay. the personal attack. I just want to, for the record, that's I just want to say attack. the personal attacks continue. That Leah it's, was a, you, you're attacking her character. She's meant she's mentioning issues. You're, you're, you're attacking you know, her she, she, character she, 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 and what she Laura, said. You're not she attacking that. 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 You're not a leader, okay, in my opinion. She, in my opinion, let her speak. Don't talk over the guests. Let me speak. Let me speak. That was an ad hominem attack, and it's childish, and I'm not going to play these playground tactics with you. I'm going to keep the focus on black America and the things that are actually impacting us. This is not—this is an adult conversation that needs to be had. Okay, the shootings in Chicago. It was Laura Ingram who, who hosted and had a real conversation with people that were living in that neighborhood about things that are affecting them. And ultimately, this is why the Blexit movement grows. This is why blacks are exiting the Democrat Party, because ad hominem attacks are not making people feel better about themselves. Yeah. Ad hominem attacks are not going to impact our financial our financial right. situation in black America. It's unfortunate because you, you consider yourself a civil rights leader. See, you, you're just attacking you know, me. You're just yeah. attacking me. You haven't Laura, actually you know, let me just offered say anything no, 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 that's constructive no, no for black America. Attack. All right, does anyone, does anyone, Laura, watch, does anyone watching your program honestly believe what she just said? I'll give you a straight. She said Democratic Another Party wants attack. black people to fail. You, that, see, 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 those are talking points, Ms. Owens, because you know deep down inside, just because you disagree with the Democrats, you cannot assume that Democrats want black people to fail. That's what you just said on national TV. Do I did, and I believe, believe that. that? And, I, and, and I will back that up with facts. Well, okay. I will back it up point, with Laura. facts. I, I mean, back that, it up Laura, with facts. you know that's okay. not true. I want to I play something Laura, you know that's that was not said true. today. I, wanna, I, I think will back a it up with of, facts. I think a lot of Democrat leaders are freaking out and tried to kill her yesterday at that hearing. They're afraid. Because they don't want what she is saying to take hold in other parts of the black community. Leo, I, I honestly believe that. I know Candace. And what was said about her implied you by know Ted me Lou too, Laura. was disgusting. You know me. I do, and that's why I want to have a conversation about these underlying issues. That's why we went to Chicago to do that forum. That's why we want to hear from the neighbors that are hurting in Englewood, in the Englewood neighborhood. They're hurting. 
They're really hurting, and yeah, they're the, not the, hurting mostly the because cut, of, of 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 black uh, of, of white nationalism. That's that's uh, that's always well, going to be a problem. Well, but that, that is, is not really why here, they're hurting. Here's, here's, my, here's, my, here's my request. Here's my request, Laura. I would like to go to Chicago with you right? and debate Miss Owens on that issue. I would love to go. Why I'll do we need to debate? Ticket. Why don't you want to hear? Why do you want to debate? Why don't you want to go to hear about other people? You want to debate? That's like why don't you want to hear from the people that are the most diverse party? The most diverse party in the Democratic. Against you whatsoever. Hold on. Let, I, let me speak. You I have not made. I have not said. Hold on. Let, let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. I have not said a single thing attacking your character because I don't need to. I am confident yeah. in my ideas. I am confident in the fact that Black America is waking up and realizing that we have been missing out. I am confident that the biggest issue yeah. facing our community Talk is father quick. absence, which further Ms. deconstructs Ms. everything you, that you is have, happening. Stop. Stop yeah. cutting me off. You I didn't have, cut you, you off. Have, okay. You have I have not every, attacked you once. I have not attacked every democratic member of this country. Democrat policies are hurting America. Well, she has attacked every Democrat. Hold on. Hold every on. Democrat. She she has basically said that every Democrat, the most diverse party of minorities, of people of color, well, she has just said on national TV over and over again that the Democrats want black people to fail. Miss Owens, well, that's not that's the first correct. attack. Those are your well, words. First of all, that's first not of all, true. Leo, that is, that is not true. Leo, I would, that's a fact, I would actually attack. take I would actually take what Leo said with with with, with, with a greater sense of I know belief and credibility. Had Leo, you said something similar every time a Nita Lowy or a, you know, or a Elijah Cummings just imparts the worst motives on people who disagree with them on policy. And, and, it, and it happens far too often. So the worst motives ever come on the other side. Are you a white person? Then you have too much white privilege. Then you need to, put, you, you need to sit down and let someone else's truth be heard. I think, Leo, you, you got your heard... truth out. You got your truth out. Candace got her truth out. And I think we do want to okay. have problem solving done on both sides. We want problem solving on the show. And that means we have different points of view heard. And Leo, you can come. Come to Chicago. Candace, we, thank we'll, you. we actually could roll up our sleeves and get something done, I think, if the three of us actually wanted to do that. So, uh, guys, Absolutely. thank you so much. Candace, great to have thank you on, you. Leo. Great thank to have you, you on.